Our work is, um, uh, you know, we do a lot of what's called critical thinking or, you know, evidence-based medicine, looking at the data. Uh, and then we kind of storify that evidence and uh, we spend a lot of time, you know, uh, uh, you know, my interdisciplinary team used to be, uh, um, uh, you know, a doctor and a nurse and a pharmacist, social worker. Now it's filmmaker, designer, illustrator, patient, uh, internet, you know, uh, social media maven. Um, and, uh, and then we're all trying to sort of push towards uh, positive change. So I think innovation is actually a bit of a mindset. Um, and, uh, and it's a lot about flow. And so I think the first thing to think about is what I talked about at the beginning is that uh, thinking about your team. So if, it's, if the only people on your team are, are doctors and nurses and you know, administrators and healthcare people, I'd really push you to think about expanding that out to patients and creatives and MBAs and, and uh, uh, other players. I think the next thing is, is about failure. So a friend of mine ran a sexually transmitted infection um, <laughs> educational session for the community and he had in a teenager uh, I think one of his own teenagers to staple in the condoms uh, and thereby decreasing their community effectiveness. Um, and so we have a big picture of this in our office. Uh, and, uh, uh, and, and it, so what happened was it was so funny that everybody, uh, it was just such a great kickoff for the whole event that everybody laughed their, you know, laughed their heads off and it got much more engaged. Uh, than usual, and it became their most successful uh, event. So, so just to sort of think a little bit about failing, and that when, when we and when we do fail, uh, uh, we, you know, that the signposts for success and failure are, are pointed the same way. I mean, I think this is true, uh, so true about, you know, our lives, or even how we uh, bring up our kids. You know, I was talking. I, I did a radio show the other day with America, or sorry, Canada's Funniest Man, uh, Steve Patterson. He runs the debaters. Do you know who he is? He's pretty hilarious. One of the lines was funny. He said, oh, I'm bringing in this friend of mine. I go, oh, so he's like your doula. And he goes, yeah, yeah, he's a man doula. His first name's Nelson, Nelson Mandula. <laughs> uh, anyway, she started to ask me about, you know, should I get a, which um, uh, baby monitor should I get? And should it have a webcam? And I'm just looking at him because when I had kids, you know, our baby monitors were our ears. And, uh, uh, and so I was uh, talking with this pediatrician out in Seattle about this last weekend, and she's just in a big review of uh, baby monitors showing absolutely no, you know, reduction in SIDS or any other uh, health outcome. And uh, no difference at all. And, and yet the parents are up all night, you know, webcamming, uh, their child and they're hyper vigilant, and so it's just what she calls American perfectionism that there's this perfect way to do things, uh, and I think it's just the reverse that uh, whether it's kids or whether it's a healthcare system, we just need to learn how to fail better. 